Hello friends and welcome if you're new to the Pain Care Clinic channel. This may even be the first video of ours that you've watched about tension myositis syndrome and how to cure chronic pain. We are so glad you found us. Maybe you've read a book by Dr. Sarno or another author about the mind-body connection, but you just don't know where to go from here. Well, you have landed in the best place to learn how to cure your chronic pain or other chronic condition and get your life back. Now there's a lot of content out there to help you navigate through your chronic pain recovery. In this episode, I'm sharing five of our favorite books to move you along on the path to pain free. These five books made it on our top recommended titles list because they'll either reinforce your belief in TMS, that your chronic symptoms are stress-based and not a medical problem, or because the author tackles a topic related to a root cause of stress and pain, such as a perfectionist personality. Let's get started. As the father of tension myositis syndrome and the mind-body approach to healing chronic pain and other chronic conditions, all of Dr. John Sarno's books have merits, of course. Here are the reasons I singled out his last book, The Divided Mind, published in 2006. By the time Dr. Sarno wrote this book, he had expanded his definition of TMS to include not just muscle contraction and pain, but nerves and other soft tissue. He also applies TMS to a lot more than just back pain, including conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, tinnitus, and fibromyalgia, just to name a very few. There's even mention of rheumatoid arthritis, which was my medical diagnosis. This information is what started convincing me that my pain was rooted in TMS, not RA. And the divided mind has many contributors in addition to Dr. Sarno, other doctors who share case studies of their patients and validate that most chronic conditions are, in fact, stress and emotion based, not caused by structural damage or a disease process. So while we would recommend the divided mind to anyone with TMS, it's particularly relevant for people with a problem other than or along with back, knee, hip, shoulder, or other orthopedic pain. And let's face it, many TMS sufferers have multiple symptoms that come and go or just pile up. The information in this book will really help you if you find yourself questioning every new pain that pops up with no apparent cause. As much as we love and respect Dr. Sarno, it really is validating to hear information about stress-based illness and recovery from a variety of sources. And Dr. Lisa Rankin hits the mark on many levels. Mind Over Medicine was published in 2013, so it's more current. Dr. Rankin had and then overcame her own health struggles. She left the medical profession because she felt so strongly that they are off track when it comes to chronic conditions in particular. Let's not rush past this really significant fact. Dr. Lisa Rankin left her medical practice after years of medical school, after many dollars spent on her education, after relying on her profession as a physician to support her family. That's a strong, definitive, positive statement in favor of the mind-body connection and should be very validating to you as you begin or continue your own journey to becoming pain-free. So put Mind Over Medicine on your reading list. Now let's turn our attention away from education about the mind-body approach to healing specifically and look at a couple of authors who help you with personality traits that contribute to tension and pain or other symptoms, starting with perfectionism. As a recovering perfectionist myself, let me say that the goal is not to change you into someone else. Having high standards, being loyal and responsible, and detail-oriented are good qualities, unless you take these things too far. And then they become sources of stress for you and sometimes the people around you as they get annoyed trying to live up to your expectations. What I love about Tal Ben-Shahar's book, Pursuit of Perfect, is that he doesn't say, just relax and stop being a perfectionist. He cues up a reasonable alternative to perfectionism, which he calls optimalism. 
In Pursuit of Perfect, Dr. Shahar shows you how making some relatively minor changes to your perspective and the way you react can make a big difference, leading to more satisfaction and less stress and no chronic pain. So the perfectionist personality has several subsets that we like to call cousins. And one of these family members is the goodest or people pleaser. Think of goodism as just perfectionism applied to relationships. You want to make everybody happy all the time. If this applies to you, you likely know it, but may not want to admit it. Please explore this personality trait because it can really ramp up your stress level on a daily basis. And you know where this leads, chronic pain. Dr. Aziz Ghazipura has your back, so to speak. He penned what we consider to be the Bible for getting a handle on goodism. His book, appropriately titled Not Nice, explores this topic and the solution in detail. Dr. Aziz walks the walk, sharing examples and stories from his own life and his own battle to dial back people pleasing. Pay special attention to chapter five titled The High Cost of Nice. Here's another tidbit about Aziz. He's a pain cure clinic success story. Aziz recovered from a form of arthritis called ankylosing spondylitis. So he really gets what you're going through. Working on goodism has a huge domino effect in your life. When you no longer say yes to everything and everyone, the resulting reduction in stress and pain can be remarkable. I first heard about the book Untamed by Glennon Doyle when she did an interview about her new book on a podcast. I love the title. I was so pulled in by her story and some of the excerpts that she read aloud from the book that after listening to the entire interview, I immediately ordered Untamed and could not wait for it to arrive. Glennon is outspoken, honest, funny, and unapologetic while relaying her courageous journey, making some big changes in her life and living authentically, no matter how messy or uncomfortable the trip may be at times. Making changes to reduce stress and be happier in the long run is one of the things our coaching clients resist the most. Don't get stuck in a chronic pain loop because you're not willing to consider changing a job or career, a relationship, where you live, or some other life circumstance that your body is telling you needs to change. When you get your hands on a copy of Untamed, make sure not to skip page 173 where Glennon gives some spectacular advice to her daughter about disappointing other people. Reading this story was a real aha moment for me, and I think it will be for many of you too. So to wrap up, here are the five best books for curing TMS. The Divided Mind by Dr. John Sarno, Mind Over Medicine by Dr. Lisa Rankin, Pursuit of Perfect by Tal Ben-Shahar, Not Nice by Dr. Aziz Ghazipura, and Untamed by Glennon Doyle. You can find these books in hardback and paperback, on Kindle, and in audiobook format. New on Amazon, used on eBay, or possibly at your local library, so there's no excuse. Select the book from our top five list that speaks to you the loudest today and get yourself a copy pronto. Thanks for watching and supporting this channel. Before you go, be sure to like this video and click the subscribe button so we can continue bringing you more good stuff all the time. And for another piece of valuable information, pick up our free guide, How to Cure Any Stress-Based Illness, on our website at paincureclinic.us backslash about. There's a link below. See you again soon. Happy reading.